Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a super easy to understand tutorial on how to use Canva to make YouTube thumbnails. So essentially I'm going to walk you through exactly how I make thumbnails for my own YouTube channel. I use Canva to do all of it. So if you're interested in exactly how I am doing this, this video is going to show exactly how to do it. And if you've never used Canva before and you literally are like, I have no idea how this even works, then this tutorial is going to be for you because it's going to help you to know exactly how to do it. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay guys, so I have my computer up and I'm gonna show you and walk you through exactly how I am making a thumbnail. So, I have Canva pulled up right here and when you log into Canva, you're just gonna wanna create a design right here. And for the dimensions, if you scroll down quite a bit, you'll see YouTube thumbnail. It's 1280 by 720, you're gonna want your size to be that, so that's the perfect size for your thumbnail. And then when it comes here, the first thing that I always do is I upload a photo of myself. This is typically just a screen capture of the video. So I go through and I just like pose for the camera while my film, while my camera is actually filming. So I just kind of pull from that. I take a screenshot and that's what I use for the photo of my face. Pictures of yourself typically do way better than anything else, which is why I definitely prefer to use my face. So. Main things to keep in mind, um, so I just made it bigger so it covered the entire background. You wanna keep in mind that with YouTube in the top right, there's gonna be um, sections of YouTube where when people hover over your video, it's gonna cover that up and the bottom right is gonna have something that covers that up. So you don't really wanna put text in the very top right or the bottom right, but anything else is pretty much fair game. So the first thing that I'll do is go over to the text and go ahead and add some text. And you really wanna keep this simple. I try not to do more than five words of text in my thumbnail. If you do more than that, it's gonna feel just very cluttered and overwhelming. You want it to be something really quick that grabs people's attention. So this video that this thumbnail is made for is actually about how to have a great Instagram bio and things to keep in mind. So I'm gonna write perfect Instagram bio. I feel like that's just short to the point. You don't want clickbait here. You want it to be very um, apparent what your video is about and you don't want people to click on it and then realize that it's not actually what your video is about because then your click through rates and your, um, yeah, just like the amount of people that actually watch your video is gonna go way down and then YouTube's not gonna like you. So make sure it actually applies to the kind of video. And then there's a font on here that I personally like. It's the Hussar, Hussar, um, font and that's the one that I have been using lately because I like how it's super big nice and bold but the other awesome thing about it so if you do this um, and make your make it that font um, I do command C on my keyboard and command V to make a copy of that exact thing. I just put it right on top of the font that I already had open. And then see how there's a Hussar, I don't even know how to say this next word, um, but there's one that is basically that same font, but it's just an outline of the font. And you might have to do just a little bit of adjusting. So if you go up here, um, let's see, if you go to this right here, you can change how far um, spread out your letters are. So I'll just spread it out just a little bit so it matches up that just a little bit better. Okay, that's about what I want right here. You want it to pretty much almost outline your regular font. So then I come over here and I just change the color and it pretty much just outlines. The only thing that's being a little weird right here is my N. I'm not really sure why it's doing that, but I mean, for a thumbnail, if you think about if it's zoomed out like this, people aren't going to tell. So to me, I found that's the easiest way to almost outline text in um, here in Canva. And then something else that I like to do on a lot of my videos, if the back, if it's kind of hard to read the text or you're not sure like what the background is saying right here, um, you can go over to elements, add a under shapes, you add a square and you can resize this to whatever you want. But I like to put this in the background right here, just so you can see exactly what the words mean. And so they're popping up. So this is really great if your background is very just like cluttery and it's really hard to read. So I'm gonna change this to one of my brand colors here so it's super obvious. I'm gonna make the outline a little bit darker now so it kind of pops off. So that's another option too. So if you press Command on your keyboard and then the plus and minus keys, you can zoom in and out here just to kind of get an idea. So when it shows up on YouTube, it's really gonna look more like this versus being super big. So you wanna make sure it like pops off the screen. But honestly, I really like that. I feel like it pops pretty well. Um, I could probably do without the background just because my background or the, the little, um, 
rectangular icon because the background of this is not super cluttery and it still pops off the background well, but for now, I'm just going to keep it. If you wanted to make this even bigger, do the command copy, command V, like I just did, and you can put it right back where it was and then just move it over slightly. I'm just using the little arrows on my keyboard to move it over and it almost makes it bigger, like the outline here. So. That's pretty much it, that's pretty much what I do. And it's super nice because in Canva, you can um, have your brand colors right here, just all right here. Um, makes it super easy for using your brand colors in your Canva graphics. But, and if you wanted to edit the background photo of this, you can click on the photo click adjust and then you can adjust. So here I might bring my brightness up just a tad. I'm gonna bring my, let's see, bring saturation up just a tad. I feel like there's not a lot of life to it. Maybe I contrast down and then back up. Perfect, I think that's probably about what I'll do. If you like this video, I actually have a free gift just for you guys, and it's the ultimate guide to DIY video content. So if you want to take an even deeper dive into creating video content for your small business or for YouTube, um, the link will be down in the description or right here, and you can grab that, and it's literally completely free, and it's just jam-packed with all my best tips for creating videos. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe because it helps us support my channel and helps more people to see this video and to learn too. So I appreciate you guys so much, and so, so, so grateful for you guys. And I can't wait to share more next time. Bye guys.